Shimai. Today we're on a bit of a rough patch of ground and we're having a look at this little plant down here with the beautiful flowers. And it's Scarlet Pimpernel or Anagallis arvensis in Welsh. It's Gulladin Maya. Um, and it also goes by lots and lots of other common names because of uh, one of its characteristics. It goes by the name of the shepherd sundial, the poor man's weather glass, the old man's weather vane, Johnny go to bed at noon. Um, and it kind of gives away the idea that it, it, it sort of it shuts quite early and, and it says that it can sort of predict the weather. Now it's an annual that creeps along the ground um, and it's common pretty much everywhere. I mean in fields, in gardens, on waste ground and, and as it is here now. And we're going to take a little closer look at it. Okay so it's a great time of year now to see Scarlet Pimpernel. The flowers uh, come out between sort of March and October kind of time and they're generally a brilliant red but they can occasionally be like paler shades of red. As you can see here these are sort of more of an orange colour um, and just up at a shot there there are some pale, um, they're almost like purpley colours to be honest um, and because they can they can range into like a bluey colour so I'll just I'll move the camera and we'll have a look at that. So there we go. You can see the contrast in the colours there. Look at the difference between those, the, the, the genuine scarlet ones and, and the colour of these little ones. Very, very nice. And the flowers are usually this sort of 10 to 15 millimetres um, long. You can see there, they're not very big. Um, and they're on this single long stalk there. Um, and they're made up of five petals. They're kind of the classic shape that you would draw a flower um, with just the center and the, the five petals around the edge. Now the leaves are what we call lanceolate. Um, so they're this kind of oval shape and we'll see if we can pull some up and have a look in there. Um, here we go, there's a nice one. And you can see there, they're these kind of oval shape there. Um, and they can be eight to 10 millimeters long. Now, once the flowers have sort of done their job, they'll then turn into little capsules, little seeds that are about four to six millimeters long. Um, and one of the other interesting things, if you're not sure that you've got Scarlet Pimpernel or not, is that the stem is actually square, and I'm not gonna break it off to show you, but if I feel it between my fingers, I can feel the edges and it is a square shape. Now they all trail um, quite a long way, six to sort of 50 centimetres across the ground and they'll just keep spreading and trailing along. And they can also grow up to about 10 centimetres tall. Now with those common names, the shepherd's sundial or the old man's weather vane or the poor man's weather vane, um, they, they do give you an indication of what the weather's doing uh, and can be used as a kind of barometer. But that's because what they do, they, they're sensing the atmospheric pressure. So when the atmospheric pressure drops, it's a sign that bad weather is approaching or, or approaching rain and they'll close up, the flowers will close. So if the rain is coming or if it's bad weather, but I've read uh, one, of the, one of the old sayings was that they would open at seven in the morning and close at two in the afternoon. Now it's not quite as specific as that because they do open, uh, the, these certainly weren't open at two, uh, sorry, at seven o'clock this morning and they're likely to be open a bit later than two this afternoon. But I think what they're saying is that they don't stay open for the whole day. So if you were gonna use them as a predictor of the weather, then um, you're better off uh, doing it just in the morning. Now Scarlet Pimpernel, I'm not sure that everybody knows that it is actually a plant. Um, most people know the Scarlet Pimpernel from the, uh, the fictional hero of the book written by Baroness of Musker Orksey. Um, and the Scarlet Pimpernel would sign his name with this classic looking um, little small red flower. Now there's lots of lore and myths that surround um, Scarlet Pimpernel, the plant. Um, and there was an old saying that no heart can think, no tongue can tell the virtues of the Pimpernel. Um, because they're basically saying that there's so much information and so much lore and goodness associated with, uh, with the Scarlet Pimpernel that there's just too much to list. But some of them is that, you know, just holding a Pimpernel will get, give you second sight. Now, second sight is that something that allows you to see the future and make predictions and see what's going to what's coming 
Um, it's also said that if it's dropped into moving water, it always moves against the current. I've not tried it, but um, I think I would be surprised if that was true. The main thing that we need to note, and, and also you know, can be quite common with plants that are red, is that it's poisonous and some people can get a reaction from touching it, like a contact reaction. So I'm okay with it, I've never had an issue with it, but like I say, I wouldn't be picking it. And now once I finish this, I'll certainly be going to wash my hands. Now, it is small, but it is a very lovely little plant. And the Latin name, the Anagallis arvensis, um, it literally means the adornment of the fields. So it was looked on quite favourably. I mean, it was, it was something that really brightened up fields and, and made, it, uh, made them look a little bit more special, a little bit more beautiful. So there we go, the Scarlet Pimpernel. Um, obviously you have a short, shortish window of opportunity to, to find it, um, not, not just from the flowering period, but also because it closes early in the day. Um, but it is a lovely one. It's well worth getting down close and having a really close look at it. Remember that it, it can affect some people. It is poisonous and some people can be affected by touching it. But it's well worth getting down and having a good look at it. So there we go. The Scarlet Pimpernel. Go out and see if you can find it and good luck.